Hi everyone, welcome back to the ReactJS video tutorial and in this video we are going to learn that how we can make a POST API request with the ReactJS. So now let's start with the points. So these are the points that we are going to cover. First of all, we need a dummy API example. So this is the dummy API example and this is the data we are going to post in this API. All right. So first of all, we will test this URL on the postman and check that the entry is going on that URL or not. All right. After that, we are going to make a simple form. Then we are just going to write the uh, uh, API post code. Then we will uh, alert a message when API is hit it. And after that, we will check inside the database that the data is going or not. All right. So now let's start with the postman first of all. So first of all, I'm just going to take this code. So first of all, I'm just going to show you where we are going to data. So this is the dummy API website. This is the route and this is a, some dummy data. They are just telling us that we can hit this and we can check this data here. All right. So this is the whole data when we are just going to enter some data here, then we can find the data inside this list. All right. So first of all, just try to uh, hit it data with the postman. So I'm just going to make it the post request inside the body. I'm just going to send uh, a JSON data. All right. So I put the URL here and this is the dummy code for a post request. So I just put it here and I just put here YouTube test all right and just going to hit it now you can see that uh, this is a 200 request and this data should be present in this list so first of all i'm just going to check it this is not available here uh, i'm just going to refresh this and after that i'm just going to check so let's see now you can see that we get got this data at the last all right so now let's start with the we uh, successfully test this API with the postman. That means this API is working. Now let's start with the react code, right? So till this uh, steps are completed. Now I'm just going to make a simple HTML form. So I'm just going to take three fields and a button. So just taking a input field here. type is text all right and I'm just going to put a value here and uh, the value should be I will tell you what it will going to do and before that I, I already made a simple video uh, on the post uh, and the, on the form method if you want to watch this you can also vote at there I will tell everything in the detail all right that how we can put the value inside the values and how we can uh, update the state with that form and all uh, the link is given in the description box so now let's continue with this video all right and all right so now i'm just going to put here on change on change the state will be going to change here all right so here i will write the code but for a moment i'm just going to pause it here so after that i'm just going to put a br tag so that we got some space here now just copy this code here from here and make the three fields all right and we can put the name of field like what fields we need we need a name salary and the is all right so just going to put a name and put here salary age and after that I need a button here and on the button this we don't need these things we just need the uh, on click function for submit the form all right and we don't need this one S and uh, just going to write here button and inside the button I'm just going to put here submit data all right so now let's check it on the page now you can see that we got a simple form here all right so I'm just going to make the three state with the same name 
so name is blank salary is also blank for now and s is also going to be blank at initial point all right so on change i'm just going to change the state for that i'm just going to write here this dot set state and here i can just simply write here uh, so the state will be going to be updated here like name will be data dot target dot value all right and after that i'm just going to put here as a state this dot state dot name so let's see first of all is it working or not so i'm just going to write here anil so it's working fine right the same thing i'm just going to do and the another area also so just take it in the next line so that uh, you can easily read it and just copy and paste the code and here we have to just change the value like uh, salary and on the third let's do the same thing with the third also and just put here h alright and in the value also you can do the same thing just put here salary and after that I can just put at the last is alright fine so I think everything is ready now and the button click I'm just going to call a one more function and this function name is this dot uh, submit right so I'm just going to make a submit function here and in this function first of all I'm just going to console my all state and check that data is fine or not so just write console dot log and write here this dot state so first of all I'm just going to hit it now you can see that everything is blank and now just going to put a name Peter and second one is the salary salary let's say 1 lakh and is it not too much but that's fine <laughs> okay is is uh, let's say 23 and now let's see now you can see that we got the old data here so now uh, the form is also ready now we have to write the code for the post api all right so now let's start with that so first of all i'm just going to make some variables like url here i, I will put some url all right and after that i'm just going to put the data and this data should be come from the state so this dot state dot uh, yes this is fine this is my state so I'm just going to copy my URL this is the dummy URL and just put it here all right so after that I'm just going to write here, write here fetch function inside the fetch functions I have to put the pass the two parameters first is a URL and second one is an object and in this object I'm just going to put here method alright and the method name is post uh, that's looking nice alright now I have to put the headers and inside the headers uh, I have to put the two headers and I'm just going to copy them from here alright because they are easy to copy from here expect the writing alright so I'm just going to write here this and the same thing is like application is JSON okay so 
I have to write this is the content that we are going to send and second will uh, will help us to the data that we are going to accept from the API all right so I'm just going to write here accept okay so after this I'm just going to write here body and inside the body I have to just pass the json dot stringify and I'm just going to pass here data simply so I think form is almost ready now I have to write the response here for the write the response I have to use the dot then for handling the promise all right and here I'm just going to write here result and uh, the result will also be sent the result in the JSON format so I'm just going to handle the dot with the dot JSON function and this will the return the port promise and same thing I have to do once again for handle the promise and just write here resp this is the response and I'm just going to console it console dot warn and here is our complete data so I think th this code should be work if there is some issue we will check with the code so I'm just going to write here Batman and it have some salary like this and some age like this I'm just going to hit this data and let's see what's going on now you can see that uh, there is some um, no actually it sent the response fine all right so here uh, it will tell that the response is name and all so we have to check that the batman entry is done inside or not with the uh, this result so i'm just going to refresh it and we can see that the batman result is here all right so this entry is done with that okay so now let's try with the some another name like I'm just going to send uh, spider spider hello because there is a lots of data so I have to put it unique and some salary and some is spiderman is little bit is not too much old so just put it 16 and hit the enter and now we can see that this entry is also done let's see is it fine or not okay now you can see that the entry is got the last that means that these are going to successful so in this area I'm just going to check uh, this will be successful area so I'm, I can just alert here uh data is submitted submitted all right so just enter someone else like dear iron man iron man what i put here i don't know just put here iron man right and salary this guy taking a too much salary but that's fine enough and the age is 30 and just hit the enter and we can see that the data is submitted and let's find iron man inside the list mm, is this still loading yeah we are able to find it okay so this is the basic idea that how we can submit the form and how we can test the data with the postman with the dummy api and this will give you the perfect example that how you can log in and how you can sign in and how you can make the post api hit it all right so everything that you detail you need like the dummy url and all is given in the description box you can get the data from here Thanks for watching this video, don't forget to subscribe our channel.